Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. Today I thought I would do a drugstore back to school makeup tutorial. It's gonna be very easy, simple makeup that everyone can do and that doesn't take that long and it's perfect for school. So if you want to see how I created this makeup tutorial, just keep on watching. The thing I'm gonna use in this back to school makeup tutorial is a drugstore product. It's first the Maybelline Baby Skin. Use it as a primer so my foundation sits all day for school. It's very nice if you have like a long school day, you want your makeup to look good and nice the rest of the day as well. When you go to school, you don't necessarily want to wear like a foundation or something that's very heavy. So I'm gonna go with the City Color Tinted Moisturizer in Fair and apply that. This has a decent coverage and it feels light on the skin. I maybe would not recommend it uh, wearing it if you have very oily skin or use like a mattifying primer and a powder on top of it. I'm going to blend it out with the Pewter Blender, like the Real Techniques one. I use concealer when I need it anyway so I don't have to just even out the skin tone. As you can see, that kind of evens out my skin tone. Like, I mean, it doesn't feel like heavy, but still it looks good. And the next thing is going to be concealer. The first thing I'm going to do is apply the City Color Dark Spot Corrector. It looks like this. And this is a dupe for the Bobbi Brown one. I'm going to do a video on it. Probably can do that next. And just to remove dark circles. Because who goes to early who goes to bed early in the school day? Hmm? Just be honest. No you don't. <laughs> this and then you need concealer on top so I'm going to today use the LA Girl Pro Concealers in the color Classic Ivory in Neutral. First I'm going to do the ivory shade. Just do like this. And then down my nose. My chin. One. Sorry if you can hear any noise or something in the background, they are like building outside, so what can you do? You like to blend them a little bit around in the room. Like so, go to school like this. Then I'm going to take the real technique sponge again. Blend it out like this. The nose, chin, and so felt like I need a little bit more. Here I have to break up some sleep, you know, the time of the month. Then the piece comes out as well. So annoying. I feel like sometimes with concealer you can manage to blend it out easily with your finger. It just melts into the skin. building and constructing outside your window and to set all of this and to set all of this I'm going to use the Kiko powder the color correcting uh, powder I need a new one because it's basically almost gone it's my favorite powder so I'm considering maybe uh, putting in the order or go to the Kiko store we will see what I do 
just put this on like a flat brush, just pat it in, make sure everything is set. Then I'm going to do some bronzer contouring. I'm going to use the see the color contour effect palette. You'll probably see me using this in other videos because it's one of my favorites at the moment. And I'm actually just going to do like a stipple brush, just like tap it easily and then just tap it a little bit on your hand to make it too harsh. Then you just blend it in. A little more contour shade. So. Just make like an easy bronze, not really contouring that much, and just make it like so. Have a little deployment, take the bronze shade, bronze up your forehead. And then take a little down your neck. Just make it even. Then I'm going to take the highlighter also in this kit and then just take a little bit of my brush and then just pop it here, my cheekbones and my nose a little bit like here and then my lip. And as a blush, I'm going to use the e.l.f. blush. I don't know which color it's supposed to say, but I think it's like a peach key, you know, peachy. It's like a light peach, golden -y color. It looks very nice and natural. It's perfect for... S it looks very light and natural, like perfect for school. So I'm just going to pop that on. Comes up very natural, so perfect. This is a perfect blush if you want like a natural blush or for like smoky eyes and such. And it's only $3. That's a good buy. Next, I'm going to do my eyebrows by using the NYX Eyebrow Cake Powder in the color blonde. First, I'm just going to brush through my eyebrows. And then... I'm going to find like a mirror close up. And I'm using the lighter shade in the palette to like on the first part of my eyebrows. Because you don't want that like super dark. And then when you come to the end, use the darker shade. And also take it down, shaping your brows, the darker one, like so, very easy. For eyeshadow, I want it like very simple, because you're going to school, like you don't really need like a very dramatic, if you want to be like to do like a little more dramatic eye look, just let me know. I'm gonna use the Makeup Revolution uh, Iconic 3 palette. And first I'm gonna do use the P2 Forever Intense Eyeshadow Cream as the base. Using a fluffy brush, taking this color here, the first matte light color. And just pop that in your crease as a blending shadow. And you take the next matte shadow, like right here, just to make it a little more darker, just a tiny bit. I want this a uh, very simple and fast makeup tutorial because you don't really have that much time. It's still put together for school, like so. And then. 
I'm gonna do a mix of the pink shimmery and gold shimmery shade on the lid. Like so, the also in the tear duct. Brighten your eyes. And then take the last much shade you used and also drag it a little fast along the lash line. Like so. Then you have the eyeshadow done. Then you want to take an eyeliner to line your eyelashes. And I'm going to use the Essence Liquid Ink High Shine Eyeliner. It looks like this. It comes with like a brush tip. I'm just going to do like a very thin. Hope you can see it like a little bit thin. Just like a little out of the wing. the winged eyeliner. Then I'm gonna take the Rimmel black eyeliner. Mine is kind of really little so I need the new one to tight line your eyes. I'm only gonna tight line my eyes because with the black because on the bottom I'm gonna use a light one to make my eyes look more awake like after a long night doing school work of course you want your eyes to look open and awake. And for mascara, I'm going to use, as always, the Essence Lash Princess Volume Mascara. Then I've done my eye makeup. As you can see, very simple and easy. I like to exfoliate my lips before, just to make sure it's ready. Don't exfoliate your lips too much. But if you're gonna wear a matte lipstick or something that day, it's very nice. Then you just take a tissue, just wipe it off. This one is from ALF, so it's very cheap and affordable. And your lips feel very nice after. And today I have some options here. Either like I'm gonna use the either matte, the modern matte lipstick from Giordana or the B matte lipstick from City Colors. I think I'm gonna go for the Giordana one in the color matte classy. And it looks like this. That was the very easy drugstore back to school makeup tutorial. Hope you liked it. Please like, comment and subscribe and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!